Good morning, everyone. Time is running out. We see all kinds of clocks showing us up the last minute. But let me remind you what's coming after. We won't have to put up with it because we won't be here. But the rest of the world will. That will hopefully give you some inspiration to get out and wake people up because they're blindly going along. I got some people walking their dogs behind me. Um, I, they won't come into view, I don't think. The Bible records for us the last prayer mankind makes. Now, this is the last recorded prayer. There may be <clears throat> millions after this. But this is the last Bible recorded prayer. It's not a good prayer. So turn with me to Revelation 6.16. And they said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne. Back, They just walked right up here with their dogs. Friendly both the people and the dogs. So I had to stop it for a little bit. I always like to talk with people when we're out. They're more friendly in a campsite than they would be downtown. Think about that when you're looking for a place to go. Okay, so where were we? Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Now this this is Revelation 6, so we've already had the, the seal judgments. We've had the horses. It's not a good time. It's not over with yet. This is the beginning. And they're throwing their hands up. That's coming. This is what you've got to tell people about. They think that the world's going to go on forever, that, the, that hell is really fiction. There's going to be people down there partying and having a good time, and there's not going to be any restrictions on them, no laws to follow. But they'll be without God. Which meant there really are no laws to follow. So, they've got some horrors coming up. The Bible calls them well, it calls them different names, but I like to use the word horror. Woe, it's, woe is me. It just sounds so plain. Horror is a better word. So turn with me to Revelation 9. The fifth trumpet. The locust from the bottom of the pit. The bottomless pit. This cannot be good. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fallen from heaven to the earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. This thing's got a lock on it. The people inside must be really bad for God to put a lock on the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit in two. And the smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great giant furnace heat. If you've ever, I don't know if anybody's ever toured a iron smelting factory. I mean, you walk in that place and it's hot. And if they open the door and you're too close, it's just back up fast. You feel the hair in your nose is singeing. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. Wherever this pit is, it's going to darken the air on the earth. Then out of the smoke rose locusts upon the earth. Big deal. The grasshoppers, right? And to them was given power. Powerful locusts. Okay, so they could eat up all your fields in twice the time, right? No. And to them was given power 
as the scorpions of the earth have power. Scorpions have a stinger and it follows behind them. So if you get in front of them and they grab you, the stinger comes forward and stings you. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree. That's not like a locust I know about. But only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. This is after the tribulation. There will be Christians alive after the tribulation. Now, whether they fully accepted Christ or whether they are going to accept Christ, we don't know. At any given time, it's going to be a variable. Revelation 9, 5. And they were not given authority to kill them. Don't kill the Christians. But to torment them for five months. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. Now, I've never been stung by a scorpion, but I've been stung by bees and ants and other stinging creatures. It's not pleasant. Not in the least. And guess what? The first horror, the first woe is over. What do you mean there's more? Yeah. Turn to Revelation 9, 12. Just jump forward a little bit. One woe is past. Behold, still two more woes are coming after these things. Two more horrors are coming. Total of three horrors. They've already asked the mountains and the rocks to fall on them. The sixth trumpet. The angels from the Euphrates. Okay. Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God. Nothing down here on earth is created unless it was first already used and created in heaven. Saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. And we're still in the Holy Land. And there is a Euphrates River, although it's kind of drying up lately. They may get water in it by now. So the four angels who have been prepared for this hour and day and month and year. You see, God laid the, time, laid the timeline out from the beginning. He's not creating this timeline. It's already created from the beginning to the end. That's how he knows where we should be at any given time. And they were released to kill a third of mankind. We already had deaths from the seals. Now we got more deaths. Total, it's about a half of mankind has been killed. That encompasses good and bad, I would assume. Christians will go to heaven. Non-Christians will go to hell. But don't worry. Hell's temporary. When God empties out hell, he'll throw you into the fiery pit. So hell's temporary. Don't worry about it. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was 200 million. I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red and hyacinth blue and sofa yellow, red, blue, and yellow. And the heads of the horses um, were like the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire and smoke and brimstone. Are we describing modern warfare? Could be, I don't know. These could be legitimate creatures, but it could be modern warfare. An Apache helicopter. The colors might signify the country. We don't know. Some of this we don't know until we get there. 918. By these three plagues, a third of mankind was killed by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. 
for modern warfare, we have guns on the front and we have guns on the back. Who knows? For the tails are like serpents, having heads, and with them they do harm. But the rest of the mankind who was not killed by these plagues did not repent of their works of their hands. It's unbelievable. That they should not worship demons and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and wood, which can neither see nor hear nor walk, but they still had their idols. Now their idols might not be what we think of idols. They're not little statues on the wall necessarily or on a shelf. It could be their cars, their toys that they've got. I don't know. We don't know. This is figurative, but it doesn't matter. What matters is they wouldn't give them up to be with God. And they did not repent of their murders or their sorceries or their sexual immorality or their thefts. See, these types of bad deeds, we always put sexual immorality as top of the list. It's just listed with the other ones. None of them are good. But don't go picking out one and saying, well, if you're doing that, you're definitely going to hell. No. If you do any of them, you're going to hell unless Jesus is there to save you. This is what's coming. We don't know how it's going to happen. There are a number of choices, none of which are good. We have an asteroid of some sort coming at us, a pulpus coming at us. That could hit us in the next 10 years. But we don't know. And the bottom line, frankly, there are thousands, if not millions, of rocks and other debris left over from the creation of our solar system that are floating around out there that we don't even know of yet. They're mapping them as they find them. And they're finding new ones pretty much every day. And they will tell you that if there's a brand new one that we don't know about, and it's coming at us directly from the sun, we won't know until it's too late. We won't even give you enough time to run into your bomb shelter. That's how little time that they're going to notice it. If it's coming from the sun. They won't know. Oh, I gotta take this. I'm looking at this beautiful lake next to us. In the background, I might be able to hear them. Driving through the area. It's a local park. You can come out and enjoy. Come out here and fish. There's a number of fishermen out there, as you may have seen. Hiking trails. Equestrian. I've seen hoof prints. Beautiful areas, and as soon as we get these trees in bloom, imagine how these will be. I think the water is up a little bit because of the rain that we just got. See if I can see anything in here. Minnows. I don't see any, but they're fishing, so there has to be stuff out there. Come on out and enjoy, everybody.